Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second and the Lair. Let's see if we can find Yoko in Geyser Grotto. So, last time we were going through that Berserk Spring area, so how about we switch back to the previous setup I had there. Though, I do want to make some changes coming up here. I'm going to leave the mages alone. I still want to have attack item amp, even though there are no land turtles on this screen. So, because we're going to start running into larger groups of enemies that we may not be able to kill otherwise without it. So I'm going to change that up for now, but, or leave that for now, but I might change it up later. But with Tiz, I want him to be doing more with his physical attacks. So let's get triple wield going on him, along with triple cross spear, just like Idea has. And then, let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, make sure you get your amulet on your spirit magic user and power bracers on a charioteer because they've got a really good strength modifier. So they'll benefit more from that than a freelancer will. But Tiz can still get the job done with physical attacks because we got the critical rate bonus from this spring. So all your physical attacks will always crit. I think that's how it works anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I already showed this party chat at the end of the last episode. Now, uh, this path will lead to a blue chest that I can't get yet. So, we'll save that for later. For now, let's fight some more enemies around here. Now, whenever you have, like, two enemies, I would try to have my physical attackers take them out since they're not as useful on multi-targeting right now. Yeah, look that damage with all those crits. Even Tiz could probably one-shot them. Okay, so with these guys, I think Magnolia could probably take them down with just her spirit magic there. Or maybe not. Oh, okay, good, good. That first hit kind of had me worried there, but, uh... Nope, Barrage pulled through. Okay, so this is the battle that I was kind of worried about, because if I examine them, and then I only have my physical attacks, I'll only be able to kill three of them. But, uh, yeah, we... Well, not really a new enemy, but, uh... Well, I haven't examined them yet. Fire Drakes! Guess what element they're weak to? If you say fire, no, that's another game, viewers. Uh, they are weak to water. So let's actually go with examine. And then three Antarctic winds, I think, will get the job done there. Oh, yeah, more than enough, even without Barrage helping out on the damage there. Now, I don't want to fight more consecutive battles with so many of my party members at negative 2 BP or less. Because the enemies will kill you with the crit rate bonus. Whew, I almost still hit the L button by, uh, yeah, by instinct there. But, uh, nope, nope, we're good. Okay, so now we've got a fixed encounter coming up here. So I definitely want to change my setup. Let's uh, save my current setup for now, because I'm probably going to switch back to it once I'm done here. Let's go physical attack up, triple wield, and katana lore, because this guy is an aquatic type enemy. And then pretty much the same thing for Tiz there. Katana lore, physical attack up, and triple wield. Okay, then I want to go with the Samadare in the right hand, because it's water elemental. That'll make your entire attack water elemental. And then we can equip the stronger Kotetsus in the other two slots. That's why I didn't buy more than four of them, because there's actually quite a few enemies that are aquatic type, but they're weak to water. How does that even work? I don't know. But it does in this game. So we got all that. I think that's all we'll need. Um, I'm thinking if actually I might want to use shamanism on Tiz. I think that would be a good idea here. But uh, Idea should be fine. For mini boss time against the adamant type shell. Kind of looks like a dream devourer, time devourer, lavos 
whatever we got going on here. Yeah, we normally can't encounter this guy in a random battle for a very long time. But we can still get the job done. Let's go with examine. And then, yeah, a few tramples there. And with Tiz, I'm going to need at least Harpoon. I'm thinking if I want to go with Condor, probably. This guy will probably default. And then we'll just go with a Sidewinder there. That'll be good. But if they don't default, then, yeah, Ibia can get the job done on her own. Hooray! Not very much re re reward for killing that guy. Hmm. Well, at least we got the job done. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the previous setup there. Although, actually... No, there's actually still one more enemy I need to uh, examine. I was thinking about dropping attack item amp, but uh, no, no, we're not ready for that yet. Instead, let's see what that guy was guarding. A black belt that I'll never use because I've already got enough of them for my physical attackers. Okay, so for this one, they are considered demon and aerial type enemies. So let's see, I'm probably going to do something pretty similar to what I did before there. I'm not going to use Katana Lore, though. Okay, so we'll go with that. And then I want to equip rifles on Idea and Tiz there. But let's uh, keep going with a cross spear there. Yeah, I suppose if I bought more one-handed swords, I could use them. But eh, I'm not going to do that for just one fight. Okay, and then I need to make sure I can get an examine in there. So let's see, Tiz can do that. And let's see, with Adia, I'm a little concerned that she might still be able to kill the guys. How about we have her with Miss Lanny instead? But Tiz can handle, yeah, the shamanism. That'll be good. For mini-boss time against the Liliths. Now, one thing I've heard about these guys is that you could steal a Lilith's Rod from them here. I don't think that's possible for us to do at this point, though, because of how stealing works. I'm not precisely sure how it works, but here's how I think it works. There's basically two kinds of stealing. There's the... Oh, yeah, these guys are weak to wind as well. I'm going to have him examine them as well, just... In case uh, Idea goes first, or Idea goes last, and I might actually kill these guys. But yeah, there's essentially two kinds of stealing in the game. There's the normal stealing that you get with uh, Steel, Mug, and uh, let's see, there's the Thief's Knife with the Stab and Grab there. And uh, Shakedown that the, the Thief also has. All of those are essentially the same kind of stealing. Enemies will have one or two items on their steal table. We can win a Lilith's Rod? I didn't think that was possible. Okay, well, we can get it that way. Huh. I never... That must be exceptionally rare. Or something. Maybe that's what people were talking to me about. Huh. Okay. But in any case, so there's two kinds of ceiling. The kind that we normally do right now. And then there's another ability that you can get way later in the game. Uh, Prince of Thieves. Which I think the way it works is... Like, regular stealing uses the normal steel table of one or two items, but Prince of Thieves uses... Uh, what is it? A totally uh, different table or set of two items that you can steal from. I've seen a lot of sources list the stolen items as common or rare, but I tried for hours trying to steal... A Lilith's Rod from the, either these Liliths or there's something on the overworld that we'll encounter later. And I could not get it from them for the life of me. So I think the only way you can do that 
is if you encounter them in a post-game dungeon, you could acquire it with uh, with the Prince of Thieves ability. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as regular stealing. It just uses or looks up different items to steal, and that's it. Kind of weird how that works, but it does. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to the previous setup then. But now that we got a Lilith's Rod that I didn't know, my, someone was telling me, Ichi Bailey, you can get a Lilith's Rod from them, but they were saying you could steal it. I didn't know that you could win it from these guys, though. My source did not list uh, dropped items from enemies, so I had no idea, but this is actually, like, really, really good. So, yeah, let's take advantage of it. I would totally recommend uh, saving and reloading to get it if it doesn't take forever, though that's the first time I've ever seen it. Well, then. Yeah, let's just go. Go with that. And then there's still one more new enemy for us to find around here. Although, like with the Fire Drakes, we did encounter them in the Berserk Spring. We just couldn't... Uh, examine them because of the berserk well that was a quick series of four battles there but we did get a level so why don't we heal up a little bit after that if i can get the right magic type equipped that would make this a lot faster i could have fought another consecutive battle but yeah with the with the crit rate on the enemies there's probably no way that i would survive and yeah this part's a little tricky if you don't look at the the map there on the bottom screen. But, uh, okay, so before moving on here, I want to change my setup a little more. Let's go with Shamanism on both Idea and Tiz. Although I might not need it on uh, Idea there. Now I'll have her use it. There's still another enemy that I need to examine. Now, I want to hold on to the cross spears, even though there's not quite as many insect or undead type enemies on the next screen, but because they also have the 25% damage boost when hitting multiple enemies. And that'll really push them over the top, even compared to katanas, though I might equip like a samadare or something. But otherwise, I would leave well enough alone. Might not be a bad idea to maybe go with katanas on Tiz and give him a black belt. But uh, otherwise, let's see. I'd like to give the courage ring to someone. How about we go with that on Tiz? Yeah, that could be useful because of, yeah, dread immunity there. Okay, but otherwise, uh, let's see. We're not going to need attack item amp anymore. Even though there are land turtles, we will have alternate means of dealing with them. You'll see why in a little bit. Let's get precog there. And make sure that we've all got our spears good to go. Okay, so we get that. And then, let's see. Yeah, why don't we save the setup there. And I think we're good to go. I want to keep an eye on use MP. But I think we'll be okay. Maybe I could use an ether on him if necessary. But yeah, this screen is the Spring of Bravery with the BP, BP bonus for the party there. So basically, that means whenever you start every battle, you'll have three BP for all of your party members. And that makes this, in my opinion, the best place in the game to uh, do some grinding, whether it's level grinding or job grinding, whatever you want to do there. That's why I'm using uh, Shamanism now, because I can really take advantage of that effect with Sidewinder. But yeah, the enemies have that as well. So make sure you can kill them before they kill you. Now, this effect doesn't happen on every consecutive battle, only the first one. So, you want to be careful with that. But otherwise... Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I think we're good to go. So, one of the nice things about the enemies having 3 BP is that the land turtles probably won't use... 
uh, default here. I feel like there's been an instance where that's happened to me before, but I can't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of something from the first game, for that matter. But, uh, oh, um, I'm not sure that four frost is enough. Yeah, they got a bit of HP, so why don't we just go with an Antarctic Wind, maybe? Or maybe I could just go with maybe a couple frost spells herself. Maybe three. Yeah, why don't we go with that? So yeah, they're not defaulting here. We're good. But alright, got the job done. Keep everyone above negative BP as long as I can. Okay, so let's see. You probably could get this done by himself. But let's see how our speed looks. How about we have Idea use either a Sidewinder or maybe just a Trample on one of these guys. Well, they got the same HP. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I could do something else that would totally work. Maverick, that always happens at the end of the turn. That way, I can make sure she'll act after you does his thing. Yeah, we take a hit, but we should still be able to get the consecutive battle going. Hmm, maybe that wasn't such a good idea, but... Well, it got the job done. Okay, so with these guys, because you got the fire drakes there, they're strong against, well, fire. So, let's see. I want to use something non-elemental against them. So, let's see. How about we go with triple sidewinder from Idea there? And I'm pretty sure that'll be enough. So, why don't we just leave Tiz alone? I was thinking about maybe if I could do something for healing, but no, not really. Although, they did just take a good chunk of my MP away. I'm surprised they, uh... Yeah, got both of them off there, but... Yeah, we gotta watch out on use MP. Okay, so with just two of these guys, I think Tiz could take them down himself. Let's go Sidewinder then a physical attack on the witch bug or actually i don't know that it really matters yeah probably on the other guy witch bug is usually more threatening because they got a lot more magic defense but i think we'll be okay anyway actually though why don't we just go for one more attack just in case but i think we'll be fine oh good thing i did that Well, that worked. Not exactly plan A, but it worked. Okay, so with these guys, I don't want to use my fire... Well, I don't want to use my spirit magic, or heat. Because, yeah, the witch bug has pretty good magic defense. And they've got a good chunk of HP there. So, let's go with just three bomb fragments. That'll be enough. If, it, if they had less HP... Like, a little over 2,400 or so. I might have her... Uh, maybe use, like, a heat spell or something. Instead of the third bomb fragment. I'm thinking if I want to... Fight another battle. I think I do. Tiz has the courage ring, so if we get ambushed by these guys... He won't get... Well, if, afflicted with dread. That is, if he survives long enough. Okay, so with these guys, yeah, they are weak to light. So what I want to do is let's go examine them. And then I'm thinking if there's a way I could possibly heal up. Maybe half seas with like uh, an X potion would be good. Because we might need to survive for a while. I don't think that even if I used uh, Shining Head... I don't think I could kill them with a single Sidewinder. Mm, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Okay, so... Maybe if I only did one thing in the first round 
and then we could uh, see how things pan out otherwise. Why don't we go with that for now? I'm going to play this really conservatively at this point. Okay. I could use halfsies with a balsam if I wanted. That would also... Uh, uh, what does it work on all party members and it would have no detrimental effect but now okay yeah now let's go on the offense hopefully you or magnolia will be alive and able to uh not be afflicted with dread okay so we go sidewinder there and i think that's the best i can do though i probably won't kill either of them this way but i don't really have a better option well, we might kill the one. Okay. I'm surprised that was the one that we killed when this guy had less HP. Hmm. But, in any case, we're alive. So let's go shining on this guy. And we should be able to kill them. Alright! That wasn't the best idea, but it worked. Hey, we learned a new ability, Muscle Memory, that I'll never use. The only way it would really be useful is, well, if you're a fencer there and you're switching stances. So, you like, when you go from Wolf Stance to Orox Stance, you'll still retain the attack boost. But, yeah, you're only going to do that if you're already a fencer. So, yeah, you got that as your innate passive. So, not really good for other job classes, I'm afraid. Well, it's nice to see that Courage Ring actually, uh, yeah, be important. But, yeah, I, I really do need to heal up after that one. Holy cow. Well, at least I didn't get Spirit Leached a bunch. Okay, so we got Shamanism all the way around. And I think we're good. Okay, so from here, let's see. So from the four-way intersection, the right path leads to the end. So let's go take the middle path first. And that'll lead us back to the previous screen there. All right, and after that battle, we got another level for Charioteer for Adia to learn Wonton Destruction. It is obscenely good, especially in this area, but it's... Obscenely good in general. Don't be fooled by the damage scaling there. Uh, it is very, very powerful. And this is how you do random damage in an RPG and have it still be useful. So, okay, so we got that. Uh, let's see, did I change anything? No, I don't think so. And, yeah, we're still looking good. Oh, I gained a level there, so I probably want to heal up a little bit, get everyone back up to absolute maximum, especially for, uh, for Trample, that is. Get back there. Actually, I want to go back to my previous setup. I want to go with Warfare. I'll keep her on Shamanism now that I've examined all the new enemies. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the previous screen to an area that we couldn't reach before. Yeah, there's that blue chest down below that we won't be able to get for a while. But what we can get now is the Mandarin Fists. The next upgrade for Knuckles there. And it has a little defense on it too. Not that I really care about that, but I guess it might help without carrying a shield or something. But uh, okay, we're good to go there. Let's get out of here then. All right. Got through that, and yeah, why don't we go back to Shamanism on Tiz there, but let's see, with Adia though, she has no MP, and I would like to have MP for using Warhead, so I could either use Thievery, that would probably be the best way to go, or Catmancy with Spirit Leech that I just got, but uh, I think I'll go with Thievery, and if she needs multi-targeting damage, that's what we've got Wonton Destruction for. I mean, you might think dealing damage to 16 random targets would be very random. It's actually quite reliable just because you deal so much damage that it's going to kill 
almost anything that you encounter. All right, and after that battle, yeah, we took a little bit of a beating there, but yeah, let's get healed up there. At least now I don't need thievery on Dia anymore. Yeah, just heal everyone up to max there. Okay, and then I want her back on shamanism now. Otherwise, we're doing okay on MP. But why don't we get Neither going on you just in case for, like, many consecutive battles or whatever this game can throw at me. One thing I like to do now that I've got wonton destruction is I'll use that first. And then I'll use Sidewinder, because the less enemies that are alive, the more damage you'll deal in total to them. So if you get unlucky, let's say, and a lot of the hits just go to one enemy, you'll still be able to reap the benefits with Sidewinder there. So that's pretty nice. And also, Tiz is pretty good with Harpoon uh, from Shamanism against the Land Turtles. I'm sorry, I mean, Harpoon! No, no, that's another game, viewers. But here we got the Ice Fire Shield. Ice Flame Shield. I don't know why they bothered retranslating it, but essentially... Yeah, it, uh, well, yeah, it just makes you immune to fire and water, just like the demo. Got pretty good stats, too, so I'll hold on to it. I don't really care about the elemental properties of it, though. Just the stats are good enough for me. All right, so that's it for the left path, so now it's just a straight shot to the end. Unfortunately, the adventure is blocked by that fixed encounter, so yeah, we're going to have to get through them first. Now, one thing I didn't really think about with holding on to attack item amp on Magnolia is that uh, it'll help her with bypassing the defense of those witch bugs there. The ma yeah, the magic defense. But, uh, okay, so with you, yeah, I'm probably going to need another Ether on him. But that's okay. Um, yeah, let's go this way first to get the treasure. Oh, well, there we are. That'll work. Yeah, I'm playing it really conservative with fighting the consecutive battle, so that's probably why I'm a bit behind on my JP there. I might just fight another battle just to finish off learning Mimic and... Maybe uh, Eye of the Wolf, even though I won't use them right away, but just getting those abilities out of the way would be nice. Since we're almost there anyway, and we're at a really good grinding spot. But we'll see. Okay, so from here... Let's see, yeah, why don't we get all healed up there? Now, at this point, I definitely want Shamanism for both of those two. And then, let's see, for the mages, yeah, soil will be good enough. Might not be a bad idea to go for, uh, well, I know I'm not going to use attack item amp. But hold on, let's, uh, yeah, let's get my setup straightened out first. Or set, save. Okay, so we got that. Then, let's see, for the fixed encounter up ahead, yeah, we're not going to need attack item amp. Although I could use it. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we use it there? But how about we give you Waste Knot to go along with it this time? And then for you... I think I'll leave you alone too. We'll be good to go then. For final mini boss time! Against... Uh, what is it? Red... Red Helms. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, these guys are weak to Earth, just like they were in the first game there. Actually, though, I want to make sure I can get my examine in on them. So, yeah, why don't we uh, just take it easy, just get the examine going there, and these guys will hit us a lot. Or maybe not. Hmm, that's odd. I'm surprised they didn't do multiple actions, but okay, we got the examine in there. We won't encounter these guys normally for a very long time either. Okay, so let's get Soil Head going here, and then I want to go with one Wonton Destruction, and then two Sidewinders to follow that up. Then, let's see, let's get some more Soil on them. 
And same thing for Tiz, Soilhead. Although, well, only three Sidewinders. Only three Sidewinders. Uh, actually, though, get another one in there. That ought to be good. I suppose I could have equipped knives against these guys being beast-type enemies. But, yeah, I mean, we're not going to be fighting consecutive battles here, so... But, uh, yeah, I am actually quite a bit behind on my JP here because I've... After getting that Lilith's Rod, I got really conservative with how I'm handling these battles. So, why don't we finish off... At least finish off a Freelancer there. And how close are you guys on Fencer? Oh, yeah, we can get that JP and a couple of battles there. Because, yeah, I want to really finish that off. Actually, though, well, how about we do this? How about we go forward with the story and I'll think about it. But I do want to rest up here before moving onward, though. I don't really need to change my setup yet. But we'll see about that. Okay, yeah, definitely. Well, I, I guess I'm going to have the autosave coming up here, but definitely save before moving onward. All right, and we're finally through all those different springs or whatever they got going on around here. Uh oh, this part kind of looks a little symmetrical. Over there. Did we find her? Hey! The sword. I am the sword of the brave mortal. Whoa! Thou, who wouldst seek ultimate power? I don't want ultimate power. I already have unlimited power. Art thou prepared to pay the ultimate price? No? We are. Oh, well, if you want to do that, that's your choice. With your power, finally Father will accept Anisama as his true son. Oh, okay. And we can live together forever and ever. Well, I guess good. For such happiness, there is no price we would not pay. I would beg to differ on that. So be it. Take me into thy hand, mortal. Well, that was easy. Yoko, stop! Well, why are you interrupting her? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Dude. My power is now thine, brave one. Oh, okay. And in return, I shall claim that which thou holdest most dear. Well, what do you mean? What? That's what they said. <coughs> what the? Uh, chapter off? <laughs> Thou didst say any price. Not. And so I have claimed from the one dearest to thee that which he did hold most dear. Uh oh. Know this, mortal. Great power comes at great cost. Unless you use spirit magic, which is ridiculously cheap. This... this cannot be! Ha ha! No. No! Oh, what's going on? Why are we getting so dramatic all of a sudden? No! Kiskatua! You! You! Oh, you got a headache all of a sudden? I know the feeling. The price claimed by the Sword of the Brave was the sword arm of Yoko's dear brother. Well, maybe he can use his other arm. This shocked her, but not me. Why? Because I had seen it happen before. What do you mean? I had a big brother too. A half-brother, to be precise. Oh, really? He was a great swordsman. I was a bookworm. We couldn't have been more different, but we were as close as brothers can be. So much so that we never bothered to mention him until now. Strong, wise, and gentle, he was the perfect leader for the Three Cavaliers. And my hero. Good for him. One day, he would inherit House Genialgia, and the very thought filled me with joy. 
Good for him. Until that fateful day, when father named me as his heir. What do you mean? He asserted my brother's lineage to be inferior. That... The words were meaningless to me. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But father wasn't done speaking. He gave my brother a final demand. If you would prove yourself to me, fetch me the blade that cleaves all. Well, a lot of them could do that, probably. Bring me the sword of the brave, and I may yet see fit to call you son. That, or be gone from my sight forever. Well, that escalated quickly. My brother only nodded and walked away. He intended to obey father's command and leave our home. Nothing made sense to me. We'd always been together. How could he just leave? Well, because he was going to get kicked out otherwise. And so, I made up my mind. I would find this Sword of the Brave. Day and night, for six months, I scoured books of history and legend. Oh, well, that would explain how he knew about it before. I spoke to scholars, sages, and seers. I even sought out unsavory occultists. We had those around here? Finally, I was able to track down the blade. And so, I set off on my own. I am the sword of the brave, mortal. The blade that cleaves all. Now, well, more than that. Thou, who wouldst seek ultimate power, art thou prepared to pay the ultimate price? Kind of sounds like, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Professor Norzen there a little bit. Yes, I am. With your power, finally father will accept my brother as his true heir. My brother will come home, and we can live together again, forever and ever. For that, I'd pay anything. So be it. Take me into thy hand, mortal. So what are you gonna do then? Stop! You! Brother? Why are you... What's going on? When I heard you were asking around about the Sword of the Brave, I had a bad feeling. That is no blade, you. It is a demon. Ah. Oh. Take it in hand, and there's no telling what price it will claim. Well, never mind then. I don't mind. Don't you see? I'd pay any price for you. Such resolve, brave one. My power is now thine. In return, I shall claim that which thou holdest most dear. Wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> Brother! Brother! And with that, the Sword of the Brave vanished into the mists. But then we don't get it. I had accomplished nothing save to hurt the one person I loved more than anyone in this world. Far from inheriting House Genialgia, my brother's life as a knight was over. Well, that was it? He vanished soon after, never to be seen again. Nuts. The Sword of the Brave. That cursed blade stole everything from us and cleaved our family asunder. Well, you were already kind of on that road anyway. You! Can you hear me? You! What's going on? Stuck in a flashback? Uh, uh huh? Magnolia? What's going on? Timothée and Parbleu! We were worried sick about you! Oh. Why? I knew this would happen. All of it. And still... You... knew? What do you mean? I'll tell you everything. It's a long story, and a painful one. But I want you to know. What's up? Oh, you just gonna do that off screen? I'm sorry, you. What a burden. Well, not much to be done about it now. Foolishly thinking I could help my brother. Instead, I stole everything from him. So I did the one thing I could. I joined the Crystal Guard. Well, I mean, he didn't really have much left anyway. I was named leader of the Three Cavaliers in what should have been my brother's place. 
You. I should have told you all sooner. Why? That doesn't really help us. But I was too much of a coward to face my past. And now, Yoko has suffered the same fate. Oh, you. Well, I don't really care about her. <laughs> What's going on? Yes, you are a naughty boy indeed, you. What do you mean? You would willingly put others at risk to conceal the sins of your past. Yoko, is Don Zaburo... Well, where'd he go? Oh, worry not. Anisama feels no pain. Well, what did that mean? After all, he was not but a phantom of our creation. Oh. Okay. What the? I don't know who that is. <laughs> you mortals are so interesting. So, if none of that mattered at all, then... Why are you coming with us? Peering into your hearts, plucking out long-forgotten threads of guilt and pain and fear. Oh, it is such good sport. Who? who what? W what do you want, then? <laughs> but no, the true fun starts from there. What is a man to do when confronted with the truth? That his whole life has been a lie. Well, keep on going. Can he accept the pain, the ugliness, the sin? Well, that's how you grow and become a better person. Will the truth change him for the better? Or will it destroy him? That is what I would see. Okay, what do you get out of it? Mikkel! How dare you! You as a person, not some toy for your amusement! Well, yeah, pretty much. Did I upset you? And here I merely thought to help the boy become a man. Well, he's there! Oh. <laughs> but you isn't the only one with demons to face, is he? Well, what do you mean? You, who let your poor brother die. Has finding a new little brother freed you of your guilt? Well, there's not much we could do about that. What? And you, who saw your beloved home crushed to ruins, does busting balls help you forget those who died? Yep. This monster! How can you say such things? But you... Yes, you are the most interesting one of all. What do you mean? So simple on the surface. But if I may touch something deeper... What do you mean? <gasps> what about her? Hands off her, you fiend! <sighs> hey! Idia, are you alright? You're alive! Wasn't sure after the oh, intro. I remember you. You were with the Grand Marshal. Dark Knight. Alternus Dim. Well, we could use the help. You are a menace to this world. If you so much as think of hurting Idia, I will cleave you in two. I would say she's a real bad guy, but she's not really doing all that much. Oh, would you now? Ow. And with that hint of what you face, mortal, run off and whimper in some corner. Well, we could try that again. Uh, I will defend Idia, no matter what I face. Come on, minus strike! <laughs> Haven't you some nerve? Very well. Let us peek at what dark secrets lie behind your mask. Sure, if I can stab you first. <laughs> well, 
Aren't you full of surprises? I'm surprised you could be surprised. What's so funny, fiend? Yours has been a life of many troubles. Most interesting indeed. Well, that could pretty much describe any JRPG protagonist. Yes. I will be watching you. All of you. With great interest. Well, if you want to watch people suffer, that would be a good way to start. You have amused us today. We would return the favor. This Kaiser that you seek, do you not wonder what his true aim is? Well, yeah, that would be the general idea. Travel to the Temple of Fire, and all will become clear. Well, how do we do that? We can't, like, go through the... The Mithril Mines, the door is locked. There is a tunnel leading there from this very cave. Oh. We suggest you go quickly. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. Huh. What on earth? We were powerless. Alternus, are you hurt? Well, I was kind of set on fire multiple times. Oh, that wound. Oh, we have to stop the bleeding. Hold on, Alternus. Well, he's a dark knight. He'll be fine. I... I'm fine. I'm just glad I wasn't too late. By the way, Alternus, I was wondering... What happened? The Grand Marshal is safe. Worry not. Oh, hey, hey! He's still around, too. He is in no shape to fight, but his life is in no danger. Oh, good, good. Oh, thank you. To hear it from you. Oh, thank you, Alternus. I had heard the rumors, but I did not think them true. What do you mean? You returned to us, Tizorier. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you've you played this JRPG before. I would think you would know all rumors, myths, and legends are 100% accurate in JRPGs. Absolutely. Yes, thanks to Idia and my new friends here. Although, okay, the legend about the Blade of the Brit, whatever that is, uh, yeah, that wasn't true. Isn't it amazing? No one can believe it. If only you know who could be here, too. Well, what do you mean? Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, mother or something? There we go. All patched up and ready to go. That's an idiot special. <laughs> well, aren't you going to say thank you? A oh, nice little ribbon. Uh, thank you. Well, now you're immune to status ailments, too. No. no. You really saved our behinds showing up when you did. You'll join us to save her holiness, won't you? Yeah, come on. More party members. <laughs> what is it? What's going on? Forgive me, idiot. I sense great danger in that creature. I must go after her. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I understand. We'll go to the temple and stop the Kaiser. You do what you have to do. Yeah, how dangerous could she possibly be? Thank you, Idia. Be safe. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Well, there we are. But, uh... Yeah, there we go. Although, how would she know that his life was in danger? She wasn't at the ceremony. How does it even work? Magnolia wouldn't know about it. Tiz wouldn't. Maybe you said something in one of the cutscenes and I just... Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. There's so much dialogue in this game. It's hard to keep track of it all. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I was only level one at the time. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, well, good, good. I don't know why she would be in danger. Oh, I, yeah, I suppose. Maybe he... Knew something was coming. But, uh, yeah, let's move along then, shall we? Okay, so, let's see. Around here, 
yeah, I just want to fill out the map. I don't think there's any, like, random battles or anything, but it looks like I gotta be pretty thorough to fill out every little nook and cranny. And if you go along here, and then down on the map there... Uh, can I get it? Yeah, the Crimson Spear! That'll be pretty useful, perhaps, for... Uh, some battles back behind us. But, uh, okay, so, let's see. With that, I'll just give that to her right now. Uh, but, yeah, it's not, like, Fire Elemental or something. I, I might think it would be. But, uh, nope, nope. We got that all set and ready to go. But I do want to go back to the previous screen and finish up these job classes th that I'm on. Usually, I have them done by this point. But uh, I am a little behind, and this is a really good spot to do that. So that's what I'll do. So I'll take care of that and be right back. All right, finished that all off. Just took me a few minutes there. But uh, all right, so we got all that. Uh, once I was done with Freelancer for Tiz to learn Mimic there, I switched him over to Charioteer. I want him to get working towards learning quad wield and wonton destruction is also really good with mimic there too but yeah i'm definitely gonna want quad wielder for all of my physical attackers and we just finished up fencer for both you and magnolia there hooray okay so now that we've gotten that let's get back down to a normal encounter rate and proceed to the Temple of Fire, where I'm going to want to make some special arrangements for my party here. Finally done with Fencer there. Now we can actually have a decent magic attack power without having to uh, use Rod Lore or anything like that. Yeah, I might still use it, but we'll see. But yeah, just like all the other temples, they redecorated and... Yeah, things are different now. We don't have to go through a whole dungeon so again. This is the Temple of Fire. So, does anyone work here still? Home to the Fire Crystal, the source of all flames in our world. The four great crystals, fire, wind, earth, and water, bless Luxendark and its people with their gifts. Well, yeah, but they're all safe. At least now they do. It wasn't so long ago that all four were consumed by darkness. Yeah, we were kind of there. The wind stilled, the seas fouled and turned corrosive, mountains spewed endless fire, and the earth divided nations and people. Well, that would be a damper on our relationship. So we journeyed with Agnes, she was the Vestal of Wind back then, to free the crystals and set things right again. And get a pretty big promotion while she's at it. No wonder everyone we meet keeps calling you heroes. Well, yeah. We are! Yoko said that if we came here, we'd learn the Kaiser's true goal. Really? What would this have to do with anything? He just wanted that compass for some reason. It might concern the crystal. Oh. Well, let's see before it's too late. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? But, uh, okay, so yeah, let's uh, go change our setup quite a bit here. Okay, so with you, now that I'm done with Fencer, I want him to start working on Black Mage, primarily to learn Pierce Magic Defense, and that'll be really good for his magic damage, especially against enemies that, well, have a lot of magic defense there. I think it's quite a bit more useful in this game than the first game, although Chogmar it could be useful against too, but that's about it. But, uh, okay, so yeah, we got you as the Black Mage. Magnolia, I'm going to have her go on to Catmancer, primarily to learn Whisker Sense and Cat Mastery there, to have another party member who can use all that stuff. And it is very useful to have multiple Catmancers. So one of the few things where I'm really going to overlap between a lot of my party members Okay, and then, let's see, Adia, she's still on Charioteer. Uh, coming up here, though, I do want to have Tiz being a thief. So, yeah, we'll take a little break from Charioteer there. Okay, and then let's change up our abilities. Okay, so I'm still going to want Tiz, or you, on Spirit Magic there. 
And then, let's see. We don't need Rod Lore. And thus, probably not Triple Wield anymore. So let's go back to Spellcraft and Good Measure. Let's see. For Adia, I don't know that I really care about her secondary command coming up here. But I, I guess I'll go with Catmancy. That'll be fine. And then, okay, so we got JP, physical attack. Let's give her uh, Katana Lore while we're at it, though, so she can have some decent weapon proficiency. Not so much because I care about Katanas, just because I have nothing cheaper to give her to boost her weapon proficiency. And we don't need Precognition or Whisker Sense coming up here. Okay, then with Magnolia, I'll also give her Spirit Magic. Pretty much the same thing as you there. Yeah, uh, Spellcraft in good measure. That's our bread and butter there. And then for Tiz, let's see. I want him to have Miscellany, though I don't think I'm going to be able to use it for Mimic because I'm going to be wanting to steal items. Let's see. Okay, so physical, triple. Let's see. Let's give you attack item amp and barrage to go along with that okay well now we got the lilith rod there so i suppose we might as well put it to use there but yeah let's go with all that that ought to be good and then okay so with adia yeah we definitely want to go on katanas there let's go with three of the kotetsus and then yeah as usual um well, I don't know that I necessarily need the speed. I could go for a little more defense coming up here. Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. And power braces as usual. Okay, let's get you on aesthetics cap. And let's see. Might as well go with a little extra physical defense there. Yeah, Camp Mancer doesn't have maximum rod proficiency, but it's close enough. Camp Mancer is actually surprisingly decent at magic in general pretty good at everything which is why i have everyone using it or almost everyone but uh yeah let's go birch bow might as well equip a kotetsu for purely for the crit rate there why not okay ninja garb and definitely want to have the thief's gloves for the special moves then let's see okay so i'm going to want to go with lightning although i don't know that that actually really matters whatever element I end up using there. And then for enfeebling, let's reduce some of that physical defense there. Oh, uh, yeah. F gain? Uh, where was it? Physical defense down, and yeah, reduce that lightning resistance. Okay, I think we're good to go. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to rest up here after, uh, yeah, all that. And then, yeah, let's check on the crystal. But yeah, you would think after a couple of years, we'd have some people here watching the place. You know anything about this place, uh, Angus? No, she's still on her coffee break, I guess. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. But, uh... Hmm. Does something sound a little different? And probably just my imagination. Well, it looks like it's in good shape. This is the fire crystal? Well, they all kind of look the same, just a different color. I can just feel the energy pouring out. It's astounding. Wow. It certainly is overwhelming. But I don't see any sign that the Kaiser's been here. Yeah, what does this have to do with anything? Yeah. It isn't wrapped in darkness or anything like that either. Yeah. Everything looks... just... fine? Hmm. Well, I guess we might as well pick up our bags and go home. No. Wait a minute. Something's definitely wrong. What do you mean? The crystal's light is too strong. It's out of control. Oh control yeah i thought it sounded a little off pitch there how's that possible the crystal shine by virtue of prayer but prayer in excess will cause a crystal to run out of control yeah you don't want to rely on prayer too much if all four crystals run amok 
But why would that matter? Our world will be linked to another, tearing open a great chasm in that world. But that won't accomplish anything. Robberus is gone. A great chasm? If that's the Kaiser's goal, we have to stop him at all costs. Yeah, I was kind of there at the Great Chasm. But if the Fire Crystal has already gone berserk... Well, come to think of it, ever since we started following the Skyhold... What about it? Each of its destinations has been home to a crystal. Well, yeah, there's only so many places you can go. The Temple of Earth and Eternia, Anshime's Temple of Wind, and now the Temple of Fire. Well, we couldn't exactly check on those crystals. Are we too late? Hmm. But wait... Something doesn't add up. What do you mean? Only a Vestal can commune with the crystals. And the only Vestal left is... Anyas. Well, there was that other girl from the first game. Then how... Your Holiness, have you seen anything? Are you back from your break? Dude? I'm afraid I know nothing. Hmm. Is something the matter? What's going on? I'm fine. Oh, what for? Are you okay? I think perhaps the chestnut jelly I just ate had gone bad. Oh, darn. It had been out for a while, but I couldn't very well just throw it away. Well, you're in the sky, old. You could have just thrown it out into the ocean or the desert or wherever you are. Did it still taste all right? Or the volcano. Yes, it was delicious. But I should have been more careful. I've, I'm sorry. Well, that doesn't explain anything. Don't feel bad, Agnes. I'd have done the same thing. Hmm. But now is not the time to worry about me. Right. About the crystals. Yeah, you know anything what's going on with them? Since the passing of the Vestals of Earth and Fire, and Olivia, the Vestal of Water. Yeah. No new Vestals have taken their place. I thought there was that one girl back at the uh, uh, forum there or something. Which means your holiness is the only person left who can commune with the crystals. Hmm. Correct. And I can assure you I've done no such thing this time. Hmm. Why the mere thought? Oh, I will not make that mistake again. I know the, uh, what is it, the Kaiser was saying something about uh, using her power, but... She's not doing anything. On oh, yes. Maybe he had a way of draining it or something? Or maybe something with uh, the fairy there. Thank you. Why don't you lie down for a bit? I think I will. I'm sorry. Hmm. Even Anyas is at a loss. But still, She's the, Pope. the Kaiser's goal is truly to drive all four crystals out of control. Well, that doesn't seem to do very much to their advantage. There's still one he's yet to visit. The water crystal. We need to get to Florum. But we can't. What the? What are you doing here? You're not going anywhere. You're going nowhere. Huh? You. Finally figured out what we're up to, huh, you? Not exactly. I mean, I know what you're doing, but that doesn't seem to accomplish very much. Are we supposed to be threatened or something? Give the kid a cookie. Too bad it's too late to stop us. That's... The earth, wind, and fire crystals are already running wild, and the water crystals within our grasp. That's... So it's true. You intend to pierce the boundary between worlds. Why would you care about that? And what if we are? <laughs> you gonna stop us? Even if it means killing me? That's the general idea, yes. <laughs> you... You bet we'll stop you! <laughs> you don't sound so sure of yourself. But that's nothing new. Well, we've gotten a lot stronger since last time. Be as wishy-washy as you want. Doesn't change my job. Well, what is your job? I'm here to cut you down and settle the score once and for all. Boss time! That's what his job is. Let's finish this. But can we defeat him and find a way to get the form?
find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!